Hey gang, Mr. Spencer here. Want to go over something that we haven't been able to go in as much depth as I would normally like to. Um, so what I want to do here today is explain why things move the way they do using the idea of balanced and unbalanced forces. Um, so we've talked about Newton's first law of motion, and that's the idea that objects are lazy, okay? They're gonna keep doing what they're doing unless they're forced to, all right? Another way, kind of a, a little more technical way of looking at that is uh, saying that objects that are moving at a constant velocity. Now remember, with something that's moving at a constant velocity, it could be at rest, it could be moving in a straight line at a, at a constant speed. Those things that are moving at a constant velocity, that means that they have balanced forces acting on them. Now, um, along those same lines, um, we have what are called unbalanced forces. All right, Whenever we have unbalanced forces, that is what or that means we're going to have what's called acceleration. Okay, Things are going to speed up, things are going to slow down, things are going to change direction. At the same time, if you ever see acceleration, if you ever see something speeding up or something slowing down or something changing direction, then that means that we have unbalanced forces at play here. So let me give you some examples of, of what, this, what this means. Okay. Um, Here's some different uh, some some different things that are done with um, uh, or sorry stumbling over my words here. Here's some different examples of what balanced forces would mean. Balanced means it evens out or it cancels out. So for example, this right here, these forces, I have a force going up this way and a force going down this way. And because they are the same magnitude, but opposite in direction, they are balanced out or they've canceled each other out. Okay, so another way of, of saying that is you have a, a, a net force of zero. All right, same thing right here with this one, okay? We've got this force that's going to the right this much and an opposite force that's going to the left the same amount. So those would balance each other out or cancel each other out. Same thing here. Here we've got them going on all, all different planes. All right, We've got one that's going here to the right. That is balanced out by one that's going to the left of an equal magnitude, just opposite in direction. Same thing here. These one, This one that's going up is balanced out by this one that's going down. So, though, so when we talk about balanced forces, that's what we mean. All right, we have forces that are acting in, that are equal in magnitude, but opposite in direction. All right, and those have, um, those balance each other. Now, here's the important thing. It's not Newton's third law right here, okay? These are, uh, it's, it's different than that, okay? So let's, let me give you some, another one, okay? So this is when we talk about unbalanced forces. All right, the reason this one is unbalanced is because we have this force that's going up this much and this force that's going down. So you'll notice that there's a greater force in the downward direction, all right? So that means it's unbalanced. In this one, we have only one force that's acting on the object, okay? Um, and that's going to the, to the right. So because there's nothing of equal magnitude going to the left, that's unbalanced. Same thing here, okay? You might have, this might be balanced with this one, all right? But along that horizontal plane, it's, it's unbalanced. Now, here's the important thing, all right? Acceleration happens in the direction of the unbalanced force. So where's the, in this first one, where's the unbalanced force? Well, it's going, because we have a greater force going down than up, that acceleration would be in the downward direction. Okay. In this one, because we have just one force that's going to the right, all right, acceleration would happen to the right. In this one, okay, because these are balanced, okay, there's not going to be any acceleration up and down, but there will be some 
acceleration to the right because that's where the leftover force is. All right. So hopefully that helps a little bit with being able to recognize what's considered a balanced and what's considered an unbalanced force. Now let's let's talk about what this means. All right. I love air hockey. Okay. Um, it's just something that I'm absolutely horrible at, but have a lot of fun doing. And what we're going to do here is we're going to explain motion using the idea of air hockey because we're going to pretend that it's a perfect air hockey table where there's no friction at all. All right, so here's, here's what we've got. Okay, just so you know what's going on here. All right, here's our air hockey table. All right, and here's the puck. Okay, so this puck is, is kind of like sitting on top of this, this perfect little layer of air. All right, and there's no friction at all between things. So here's, here's what I want to do. Let's take a look at the forces that are acting on our, our puck right now. Now let's try to describe what's going on. So let's say it's not moving. Well, so first of all, if it's not moving, is it accelerating? Okay, well, no, it's not. So it's, so it's not accelerating. And if it's not accelerating, what does that mean? Well, that means that we have balanced forces. So let's identify the forces that are acting on our, on our puck here. Well, we have uh, the, the force due to gravity. So we have this here, so Fg. Well, what is balancing that, that out? Well, you've got that air that is acting as a as a support force okay so we are going to have a normal force from the air that's acting on it now the reason these are balanced and the way i do a balance is i, I just kind of put like this little tick mark on there to, to say that those are, are equal um we know those are are balanced because it's not accelerating but then let's let's take a look at what would happen if I hit it with a with the paddle. At least I think that's what it's called. I hope that's now if we think about what's going on here, there's no friction, remember. Okay, so does the puck still have weight? Yes. Okay, so we're still gonna have our force due to gravity. Okay. Is the is that layer of air still holding that up? Yeah, yeah, it is. So we still have that normal force and those are are equal so we're gonna put our little tick marks there but we have another force that's acting on this okay and and that's the force of the paddle that the hitting the the puck okay well which direction is that adding or is that acting on it well we're gonna say that that's going to the right so we're gonna say that's an applied force on the puck by the by the paddle well, if I look at this, once I hit it with the paddle, it's going to start speeding up, right? Okay. And if it's speeding up means acceleration, and if it's, if it's accelerating, then that means that, it is, um, that, that we have unbalanced forces. Well, do we have unbalanced forces here? Yeah, we do, okay? Because there's nothing that's going to the left in a in equal magnitude to the applied force. So what's going to happen with our paddle? Well, it's going to accelerate in the direction of that, that unbalanced force. So in this case, to the right. Okay. Now, here's one of the things that, that gets a little tricky. As it's moving across the table, what's happening? Well, is this force or is gravity or is it, does it still have weight? Yeah, it still has weight. So there's still that force due to gravity, okay? Is the air still holding it up? Okay, yeah, that is. So we still have a we still have a normal force, okay? Is the paddle still in contact with it? Well, no, okay? So is the paddle applying a force to it? Well, it's not touching it, and an applied force is is a contact force. So there's no forces that are acting horizontally. Now, a lot of people look at this and like, oh, well, how can it be moving if it's 
uh, if, if there's no force acting? Well, it can happen, all right? So, but here's what we want to look at. As you're, as it's moving across the table, it's going to be going at a, at a constant force, or it's going to be going at a constant velocity. So that means we have balanced forces, and that is, is what we've got going on. So here's the interesting thing. When it comes to forces, all right, this right here, the, the moving across the table at a constant velocity, looks exactly the same as if it's standing right, as if it's standing still. Interesting stuff. All right, now let's say, okay, this is not moving across the table. Okay, this is being stopped by the paddle. Okay, well, what's, what's happening here? Still have the force due to gravity. Still have that normal force. But now you have this paddle that's pushing it to the left. So we have an applied force. So this is unbalanced and that means that it's going to be since it's going to be acting it to the left it is going to be decelerating it's going to be slowing down all right so hopefully that makes sense now let me let me do another one very similar to what we talked about before but this time let's talk about bowling balls all right when we have friction okay so let's say i have a bowling ball and i'm going to push it with a broom but we're not going to push it with a broom just yet it's just sitting there well what forces are acting on exact same as as with the the hockey puck okay it's not accelerating it's just sitting there so that means we have balanced forces so we are going to have oh what, what should i use let's use this one so we have a normal force on the bowling ball by the ground we also have that force due to gravity of the earth pulling on that so these are equal and these are are balanced all right now let's say i hit it with the broom all right. well what's going to happen if i hit it with the broom well it's going to accelerate and it's going to accelerate to the to the right so we still have our normal force of the ground supporting the 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 ball we still have its weight it's still being pulled on by the earth so that force due to gravity but now we have this applied force on the ball by the broom all right and that applied force is going to cause that broom or is going to cause that bowling ball to accelerate towards the towards the right if it's once it's rolling well think about this so before we had a um before we had the the the, the perfect air hockey table all right, where there's no friction at all. Now, if I go and roll a bowling ball down the down the hall, it's going to roll for a while, but eventually it's going to come to a stop. Well, why is that? Because we have friction, all right? So we've still got that normal force. We've still got the weight, force due to gravity, but now the bowling, the broom is no longer pushing on that bowling ball. So we have some friction between the ball and the and and the ground okay and that's just going to be a little amount okay so, but that force due to friction on the ball by the ground is going to cause is acting towards the left so it is going to be slowing it down all right so it's deceleration or negative acceleration now what if i wanted that to to keep going Okay, what if I want it to go at a constant speed? Well, I'm going to need to push that. All right, so our bowling ball, it still has the normal force. It still has its weight, force due to gravity. Friction is still acting on that ball, but now we have that broom. And if, it's pu if the broom is pushing it forward with the exact same amount of force as friction is pushing it backwards then it will go at a constant speed all right so i hope that helps uh make it a little bit clearer about how balanced and unbalanced forces relate to our uh to our, our motion so remember if it's constant velocity if it's not moving straight something's moving in a straight line at a constant speed then we know that the forces are balanced all right 
If it's accelerating, meaning it's speeding up, it's slowing down, it's changing direction, then we have unbalanced forces. So I hope that helps. Let me know if there's anything I can do to explain it more.